There are special moments when the beauty and mystery of simple things are unlocked by our imagination. Imagination is our unique advantage. With it, we are alive and aware. I think it's lovely. I think it's uh, it's different from anything else that I've seen. It's a woman, definitely. Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. I enjoy looking at it, right? Because that's what art's all about. Art is everything that you do, and like it's like the sidewalk that you walk on, and it's it's a whole way of expressing yourself and and just living. Art is like a life, you know, itself. I think art is love, beauty, understanding, all those things. Art is horizons, art is sky, art is everything and everywhere. I just think the world would be a dreary place without it. Art is something to get away from the regular routine. It's beauty. The buildings are art, the streets are art. Art is the inspiration to be one with beauty. It's, it's great. It makes you feel uh, broader, richer. You begin to see things you never saw before. I'm on stage. I'm an actor. I'm a mime. When I work on stage, I'm inspired to move by what I see. And I find excitement in this ability to be whatever my imagination has captured for me. When I fly, I hope the audience is moved to feel life again, to be excited. I know it's hard because it takes real effort to touch life because you're not open, you're not awake. You have to try not to be crowded aside, closed down. Imagination keeps people away from boredom and darkness.
It keeps us open. It's a beginning. Art is a beginning. Uh, the, I suppose the most beautiful thing about beginning a very simple, direct piece of sculpture is just the plate itself. It's just your materials. There's uh, something about having all that amount of material there and, and knowing that you're going to go to work on it. Just as there's something very sensuous about a piece of stretched canvas, just as there can be something very sensuous about the whole act of painting, this same kind of relationship exists working with various metals, particularly heavy plate, where you find that instead of it being something very inert and deadly and heavy and cold, um, it in fact can be um, a very ornery and very lively material. And each piece of plate can have uh, a life of its own. And uh, there's, a, there's a kind of contribution to the, that you make to the metal and that the metal in turn makes to your work. And there's no question that the workmen themselves begin to get a more complete idea of what you're trying to do, are increasingly more helpful as the piece develops. I mean, the, the meaning is something that um, um, must be felt. We have this foolish notion that when we look at something, that that's it, as if it's a one-time experience. I mean, God help us if it was true. I mean, everything would become pure monotony. If, if, if people can be free and let their natural curiosity take them to this thing and see it as a fresh experience, well, something may be possible in terms of real communication. Art to me is, is simply good, honest work combined with imagination. Seeking what is all around us and what everything is based upon, and that's line and form. You can find that anywhere. 
It's something that runs through everything. That's essentially what art is to me, and that's what dancing is to me. For me as a dancer, the really great choreographer will literally carry your attentions in your eye so that you get that wonderful flow of, of, of movement and you get a sense of balance and you get a sense of that, that line and form. I like to see bodies in movement in time and in space. That's what choreography is about. And to see the relationships between them. To see what happens between people together. And there's a joy to me to be able to build something, to be able to create something. Starting from uh, the empty volume of a room or a stage and putting movement into it and seeing what happens as you develop that movement. You have the form of space, and you have the form of the music, and you have the human body, which is another form. And to put all those three things together to make something come alive is exciting to me. What's happening on stage is so spontaneous. You spend the whole day building up to those very few moments of, of importance that you have on stage. So it, it's a constant conditioning. If it's all right, if everything has come together, it is so easy, it's so smooth, it's so beautiful. It's very easy to dance. Usually if you're having a great performance, you can sense that the audience is sensing that kind of thing where all of it has come together and they tune into it, they get very, very close to it. Whenever I deal with life on stage, it exhilarates me somehow. 
I like to show the audience that I'm not afraid of any aspect of life. but I can't really see any artistic overtones to it. I mean, it's just a big air mattress. It's a lot of fun to bounce on. It's, uh, it's kinetic energy. Oh, like I told you, I think it's a lot of nonsense. It's different. I think it's like a very sensual thing, you know. It's, oh, it's fine, fantastic. I say I was bouncing right in the middle of it, and I met a classmate of mine from college, <laughs> class of 53. All can take a lot of, a lot of different forms, and, and this is like one of them, like everybody's involved. I don't think that it has anything to do with art. No, but it looks like a lot of fun. It is art. Well, how do you define art? But to it, me, art is a way of life. As far as art goes, I don't think it has anything to do with it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I don't think anything. It's just marvelous fun. Maybe the street's a museum now. I don't know. I think at the moment it has to do with sheer fun, and if art can't be fun, then there's something wrong with art. Wow! Here's a new yellow sedan. Whose is it? It's mine! Well, where do you want it, lady? Let's drive it right in! Okay, move over, please. Okay! okay. Move over! Move over! Make a little go for me! Move over! Move over! Make a little room for me. It's a very busy city, and we're very busy people, and we better keep on moving, or we'll be left behind. It's a very busy city, and we're very busy people, and we better keep on moving, or we'll be left behind. Move over, move over. Make a little room for me. Move over, move over. Make a little room for me. Once you've been opened, excited by something you've seen, something you've felt, it's somehow easier to become involved, to express what you feel. Actually, anything can do it. Even something as simple and as basic as baking. <laughs> Cookie baking. If you watch the children bake, there isn't a censorship. It's the getting into the thing that you're doing. Being the mermaid, being the fish, being the sun. 
when you're painting or when you're sculpting or when you're expressing yourself, there are so many levels that are tapped that are not apparent until that final product. It's the essence of life is what I feel. The most marvelous quality of man is that once he becomes involved, he, his mind and his senses are turned on to doing something that he didn't know he could do a few minutes ago. And that is where the magic is. Well, you get a nurse to do a thing, and it's a pretty good idea usually to go right ahead and do it, not put it off too long. I once got this urge to build a steam tractor, and I didn't put it off too long. There's something about the power of steam that always fascinated me, always has. I never got completely away from it. So many times in the night, I've heard engines going up and down, heard a steam whistle. Felt something inside of me that that time, that boy who had the feeling of a tremendous power there. That's why I like to get these old steamers and take them places and get them going. And, of course, it's something that I can give to other, other people. I can share it with them, see? I think when someone involves himself in expressing something that they feel inside, you constantly are moving, you're constantly thinking, you're constantly feeling, and that moving forward can be the essence of keeping one alive. The job of the conductor is to put his feeling into the music and then take that feeling and make sure that the feeling gets across to the audience. Would one of you like to come up and try to put your feeling into the music? is fine. Uh, trombones, your entrance must be with a terrific accent at this place, and also trumpets, beep up 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 horns, everybody leading to this downbeat. All your might. So we have a sense of arrival. <laughs> Do you understand that it's more and more sostenuto all the time until we reach this climax? Nothing comes instantly except death. And every generation has to learn that anew. Find out what you can do well, and then do it for all you're worth. 
because it's the artists of the world, the feelers and the thinkers who can articulate, educate, sing and shout the big dreams. Only the artist can turn the not yet into reality.